everybody's top water Jenny, and in this bass fishing video, we're gonna be fishing with the Helgramite by Nico. This little lure right here is a bug lure that should put some bass on our line in the summertime. Let's go. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, woo, holy cow, folks. Top water Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. There we go. Woo! At that one. Hooked. Hey everybody, Top Water Johnny here. I want to welcome to the next video here. Please be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. Be, be sure to hit the like button. We're going to be fishing with this Nico right here, this Nico Helgramite. So it's a little Helgramite bug. A lot of mosquitoes out here, a lot of dragonflies, lots of insects out here in the summertime on the top of the water early in the morning, but also midday and afternoon. So we're going to be fishing this little lure right here, and we're going to see what we can make happen. So let's go. There we go. There we go. On that Helgramite. On that Helgramite. All right. Got you. All right. There we go. And on that Nico Helgramite. Right there, everybody. There we go. All right, everybody. On that Nico Helgramite. All right. All right, everybody. There, there. there it is on that Nico Helgramite, all right. Hey everybody, it's Tywater Johnny here, and we got this nice one here on that Nico Helgramite uh, by Nico, and he was in those lily pads, and we got him nice and clean in there, and it was a subtle hit, but he got it off the top, so no complaints at all. All right. Okay, everybody. Nice little one right here, a little over quarter pound. Helgramite, all right. Here we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Got him. There we go. Had to wait, folks. Got him. On that Helgramite. All right. As you can see right there, another one on that nice little Helgramite. All right. Right in the top of the mouth. Okay. Another little one here on that Helgramite, but they're in those lily pads and they want it so we'll have to take what we can get right now it's a dink but we'll take what we can get so all right there he is he was in the weeds but we got him all right There we go. There we go. On that Helgramite. All right. All right. There we go. All right. Nice one in them weeds, but we got them. All right. Hey everybody, saw where Johnny here. We got one on that Helgramite. Oh, three quarters of a pound here. Not too big, but a decent one on them Helgramite. In them weeds over there. Look at all them weeds out there. And we we got them. So them Helgramite worked out great. All right. All right, everybody. Nice one here on that Helgramite in the weeds. Heavy pads.
Everybody's talking with Jane here. As you can see from that last catch, I'm going to show this to you again. Look at that sparseness out there. So I'm trying to throw that Helgramite into those sparse areas there. And because I've got a weedless presentation, I'm trying to keep it more in the calmer areas, as you can see over there. And my hope is to uh, find those bass that are hiding under those lily pads and in that grass. And I'm just throwing it in, tap, 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 and reeling it really slow across those pads and areas so that one, I don't get tied up, but then two, so that they can key on it and come up and get it. So just want to give you guys a little insight on how I'm approaching this area here. All right. There we go. There we go. On that Helgamite. All right. All right. There we go. Got him. He's super skinny, though. But we got him. Look at this one, man. Woo! He is bones. Bones, bones, bones. He is super skinny. He needs to eat. But we got him. So that's that's all that matters here. So there you guys go. All right. There we go. There we go. In the weeds. All right. Nice one. All right. In those weeds. But we got them. All right. On that Helgramite. All right. Hey everybody, it's Howard Johnny here. We got a little bit better one here. Probably, probably three quarters of a pound right here. But a better bass, and he was hiding deep in those weeds right there. We ran that Helgramite through there, and he came up and swatted at it, and we got him. So that Helgramite from Nico puts in the work, man, gets in those hard spots and makes it happen. All right. There he is. All right, nice one. About three-quarters of a pound. Okay. There we go. On oh, that Helgramite. Yep. You wanted that. There we go. Look at that, everybody. On oh, that Helgramite, that little one wanted it right there. All right. All right. Not the biggest one, but on the Helgramite by Nico. All right. Well, hey, everybody, it's Howard Johnny here. This completes our fishing expedition here with the Nico Helgramite. We caught some on it for sure in lots of different places. So definitely impressed with it. So what we're going to do now is go back to the office, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right. All right, everybody, here it is by Nico. This is the Zaza Helgramite lure right here. This lure is actually three inches in length right here. And if you just notice all the details that are built into this lure right here, this right here, lots of ripples right here, which gives it lots of water disturbance. These actual legs right here that are on here actually flicker when they're going down into the water column here as well. Um, got mandibles in the front of it here, which allow for it to also create a more flicking and shaking noise here as well. This lure here, you could actually rig it in the front as a drop shot. Or you can Texas rig this lure as well because, like I said before, it's three inches in length. Comes in a package of four. The price is $7.49. This particular model that I have is called the Mud Bug. 
And this lure definitely is durable, really elastic, has really great movement in water, and really will create a lot of disturbance and action fishing it in the shallows or in the lily pads or in tight areas. So once again, this is your closer look at the Nico Zaza Helgramite Bug. All right. Hey everybody, it's Water Johnny here, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And the video was on the Made by Nico. It was the Zaza Helgramite right here lure. And when you, I wanna give you kind of some information on it first. I put a link in my description box where you can actually access these lures directly from the producer of it, which is Nico. And so the web address and everything you need is in the description box of this video. You can go over, check them out. The actual price on a package of four of these is $7.49. This is actually the three inch actual lure right here. And I wanna show you something about it that they were very proud of. I met the actual people that make these, so they were really proud of this lure. And it's a great, this is actually a great little bug type of lure. But look at this right here. Look at all of that stretch right there in these lure right here. This actual lure actually is competing to me with the world of Z-Man right here about its elasticity here. And they said it could probably handle over a hundred fish before it actually breaks down. So as you can see here, I had it, I had it actually Texas rigged here, just like that, Texas rigged, and was really getting a lot of action out of it. So I really was impressed with this lure, and if you're looking for an insect lure that has durability and one that will last, and you can get a lot out of your investment of $7.49, then I want you to go over and check them out there. Like I said before, I had a chance to meet the uh, owners and managers and guys that run it and work with them, and they were just awesome individuals. Man, I met ICAST, and they were just great. And so I really wanted to get some lures out, fish them, see what's going to happen with them. I've got some other Nikos that I'm going to show you later on as well. But for right now, just wanted to show you this insect lure in action here. As you already know, we're going into the fall now. And those bass are probably going to start to feed up. It was a little tough. And I can say that personally, it's been tough fishing out here recently, trying to get those bigger bass to bite. But I'm encouraged that I think that as we roll into the fall, they want to feed up. They want to get bigger. They want to be ready for the cold weather. I think we're gonna get some really good footage of some really nice catches coming up in the future here. So I'm hopeful of that so I can showcase more of my top water lures in action. But for right now, this is the lure right here, the Zaza Helgramite. And this actually is, this version is the mud bug. So it comes in others like green pumpkin and other colors as well, but this is the mud bug. So I wanted to give you guys that information. Also, I'm gonna be doing a unboxing, a really cool unboxing later this week. And I think it's going to be the best top water lure unboxing ever on YouTube because I handpicked all of these top water lures. And I really know that a lot of people will not be able to duplicate what I've done here with these lures, meaning this particular unboxing. So it's going to be really a special unboxing. Then I'll show you as that later on this week as well. Then also I've got some, I got a question for you guys. I'm also going to do a video, and it's what I call Top Water Bass Fishing for Beginners. And I'm going to do a video where I talk about if I were to take you shopping for top water lures, what lures I would recommend a beginner use to, stop, to start top water bass fishing. So I'm going to do a video where I talk about for beginners, top water lures, bass fishing for beginners. Then I'm going to do another video on top water bass fishing for guys that are kind of in the intermediate phase. They're not beginners, but they can always appreciate some advice on how to be better with their top water. So I'm going to recommend some lures for those that are kind of in the middle. And then I've got my pros that are watching me fish, and I'm going to do a video for them. And that one's top water bass fishing for people that are a little bit more advanced. And I'm going to show you some more advanced lures that I think will challenge you as a top water bass fisherman. So I'm going to end up doing three videos, start with the beginners, then the intermediate, then advanced. I'd love to get you guys' thoughts about that as well. And then finally, here's another question I have for you guys. I'm thinking about putting on once a month a top water bass fishing lure class. 
And what do I mean by that? This is where once a month we would come together, we would review one top water lure. We talk about what it is, how to fish it, ways to fish it, and we go a lot deeper into the mechanics behind fishing that lure, where to fish that lure, rod selection, line selection, even reel selection as well. And that would be a class that we would have once a month. And so my question is, would you be willing to sign up for a class like that? And I can, I'm can i just gonna be transparent with you that the investment would be $5.99 per month to be in that class. So every month we would review a different top water lure and we would go deep into it. We would do question and answer. We would discuss it in depth so that you really understand how to fish that lure that have more success with it. And we would do that every single month. So once a month, that would be the class. It could be live streamed. It could be through Zoom, but the investment would be $5.99 per month. I'd love to get you guys' thoughts on that, what you're feeling about that. I'm gonna put it in the community tab area as well, just to see what people kind of poll and what people think about it. But your thoughts, you know? First, as always, we're gonna do the lure reviews that we always do, but we're gonna go deeper for those that wanna go deeper and wanna learn more about topwater bass fishing because I've had an opportunity to learn a lot and I wanna share that in a much more deeper way with those that are interested. So that's what I got going on. And I'd just love to get you guys' thoughts and feedback on that. I'll keep reminding everybody of this as we go along just to get people's thoughts. But I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to the channel. Please be sure to hit the like button and please be sure to always remember that phrase. Keep your line tight because when they hit those top water lures, especially lures that look like little bugs like this, it's going to be a big bite. I'll see you in the next video.